What's up, my name's Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'll be going through a quick optimization guide for Watch Dogs Legion. By the end, you should have much better performance. So first of all, before we begin, simply make sure Windows is up to date and your graphics card driver as well. I won't be showing that as it's the most simple and common fix. So first of all, before we get to optimizing the actual game, let's optimize our Windows. So hit start and type in game space mode. Open up game mode settings, and inside of here, we'll simply push the slider for game mode to off. Then head across to the capture section and do the same here. Turn everything off. Of course, don't turn this off if you want to use the Windows Capture, but you will get better performance by turning it off. Then finally, the Xbox Game Bar should also be turned off, of course, unless you're using it. Now we can close out of this. Next up, we'll make sure that the game is launching with the correct high-performance GPU, which is incredibly important if you're on a laptop or portable device. Press Start and then type in GPU. Open up Graphics Settings. Inside of here, simply make sure Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling is turned on, and then scroll down to the list of applications over here. You may just see this drop down. Simply select Desktop App, and then click Browse if the game's not already on this list. Then, navigate across to where the game is installed. To find where the game is, right-click on Watch Dogs Legion, go to View Game Details, and then click Properties on the left-hand side. Here's the link over here. I'll click open folder to get there directly. This is what it'll look like. So let's navigate across there in the open dialog. Once we make it into Watch Dogs Legion, open up the bin folder at the very top and we'll be double clicking on watchdogslegion.exe or selecting it and clicking add. Once we do, you'll see it appear on the list over here. Simply click options and then choose high performance. This is the best GPU that we want to run it on, assuming that you have multiple graphics cards or an integrated graphics card. Don't have one of these top two selected, select High Performance, click Save, and close out of this window. Next up, let's get to cleaning out our Windows temporary files, cache files, and some more things. Press Start and type in Clean, then open up Disk Cleanup. Select your Windows drive, i.e. C, and click OK. Then when you see this window over here, check everything unless you want to keep something like, say, the recycle bin contents. Then click OK and delete files. Once it's done, it'll vanish. If you installed the game on a different drive, open it up once again, and this time select said drive. Click OK, and check everything once again. Click OK, delete files, and wait for it to run through. Now we're done with the cache, let's get to optimizing our NVIDIA control panel. Of course, this is only applicable to NVIDIA users. If you're an AMD user or something else, simply skip this step. I'll right-click my desktop and click NVIDIA control panel. On the Adjust Image Settings with Preview tab, make sure that Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings is checked. Head across to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings at the very top. From here, we'll open up the list and then select Watch Dogs Legion. If it's not on the list, Click Add and locate Watch Dogs Legion on this list over here. This is a list of recently used programs. If you don't see it and you can't click on it to highlight it, you can click Browse, navigate across to where it's installed and select the same EXE we did earlier. I'll click Add Selected Program. Now we have a list of optimizations here. I'll quickly touch it up so it's easier for you to copy from. Simply copy the settings that you see on your screen from my screen. You may have more or fewer options depending on your graphics card, its model and your current setup. Here's the first page. The second page, and the third page. Once you've copied across all of these settings, simply click Apply, wait for it to apply, and then close out of this window. Then, we'll be adding the ultimate power configuration plan if you haven't already got it. You can see by pressing Start and then typing in Power Space Plan, then clicking Choose a Power Plan. Inside of here, we'll have all of our PC's power plans. I, of course, have Ultimate Performance added and selected. If you don't see it, however, copy the text from the description down below, hit Start, type in CMD, and then click Run as Administrator. Inside of here, we'll be pasting in said command and hitting Enter. Now this power scheme has been added, which is the Ultimate Performance Power Scheme. Simply select it from the list over here, and then you can close out of the Power Options window. Now that we're basically done with Windows optimizations, there is one more optional optimization you can do to see if it helps you at all. I personally don't see much of a difference, but a lot of people do recommend doing this for most games. Heading across to the Properties section of the game in the Uplay Launcher, open up the Bin folder, select Watch Dogs Legion, right-click, Properties, Compatibility, and then tick Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Click OK and then close out of the folder. We'll go ahead and launch up the actual game now to optimize in-game settings. So once we're on the main menu, we'll head into the Options screen, followed by Video. Inside of here, we'll change the obvious. Number one, make sure Video Adapter is set to the correct graphics card. 
Window mode is full screen, the correct display is selected, obviously. Resolution and monitor refresh rate both match your monitor settings. You can of course leave the refresh rate to auto to automatically detect, but if you want to set it manually, you can too. VSync should be disabled unless you're getting screen tearing, which you'll usually get below 60 FPS in game. You can enable this here if you're getting screen tearing, otherwise make sure it's disabled for the best input latency and FPS. FPS limit should be set to off unless you're maxing out your CPU and trying to record with something like OBS. In that case, if your CPU is maxed out by the game, OBS is left with nothing and you'll have a stuttery recording. You can set an FPS limit here to something lower than you're getting in game to keep some performance for the rest of your PC. If you want the best performance in game and only the game, leave it set to off. Field of view, the lower this is, the better your FPS will be as less stuff will be loaded. This has a major effect on your CPU, not so much on your GPU. I of course play it with high field of view just because I enjoy it and I'm willing to give up some FPS for some extra vision. At the very bottom, there's not much else we need to change. Simply hit spacebar to apply, then click yes, and head across to the quality tab at the very top. Inside of here, we'll mainly be focusing on the graphics quality selector up here. Check the image on screen now to decide what the best graphics quantity preset would be for your current setup. If you select it here, it'll help you decide with the rest of the settings below. Once you've set it to whatever matches your PC, we'll be going down and customizing these ones individually. At the very top, we have DirectX. You can change it to DirectX 11 if you're using an older GPU. Note that this will disable not only RTX, but also DLSS and some other features. It can also give you much lower FPS, but if you're using an older GPU, it may end up giving you more. You'll have to change this as the last setting so that you can experiment for yourself. Geometry should be set to high, which is the lowest option here. Environment should be set to medium as low takes away too much. Texture resolution and texture filtering are completely dependent on your graphics card's available VRAM. These of course will be set by the preset above so it's easy for us to decide exactly what we should have here. Having these higher will have a bigger CPU load but of course having more loaded in your graphics card at once will help your FPS. So having the texture resolution set to the same as the suggested for your graphics card or one lower will yield some good FPS. You can of course set it all the way down, but it'll give you some really blurry textures in game. Texture filtering, however, are how much the textures are filtered. You can drop this too low without too much worry. It'll give you some better FPS. Shadows, of course, are going to be the most taxing as there's tons of them showing all over the place and they're dynamically moving. In real life, shadows are blurry, so in game having lower quality shadows will result in more blockiness, but eventually you'll get used to it as they're not the main focus of the game. If you want a bit better quality, the lowest that you can go for smoother shadows would be high. Anything below that gives you these more detailed blocky textures. So pick whatever you want here, the lower the better. Headlight shadows should be set to either your car or off. Having it to more than just this will cause some FPS lag. Reflections of course are going to be hugely taxing. You can set this to low without worry. Scrolling down, depth of field should be set to off. Motion blur should be set to off as well, as well as bloom and ambient occlusion. Of course, all of these settings here have some effect on gameplay and performance. I personally don't like the blur that's added by depth of field and motion blur as I feel like I need to wear glasses while playing. Bloom adds some glowiness around light sources, such as the street light in the image over here. It's not too important to have on, but if you'd like it on, it will take quite a bit of your GPU to power. Ambient occlusion, of course, is barely noticeable most of the time and does take a performance hit. Having it set to off, can help your FPS. Post-processing anti-aliasing has TAA as the more advanced reduced flickering mode that does take quite a bit of your GPU to power. Setting this to FXAA is the quickest, least taxing anti-aliasing. You can of course set it to off, but between FXAA and off, there's basically no difference. The higher you go here, the bigger difference you'll notice. FXAA is the best option here, in my opinion. Subsurface scattering can be set to high or low. It barely has any impact on the game's visuals and barely any effect on your graphics card or CPU. This is up to you. Then scrolling down, of course, if you don't have a 20 or 30 series graphics card or you actually value FPS, you'll have ray traced reflections set to off. Having ray tracing on will absolutely tank your FPS. Next up, DLSS. Having a graphics card that supports DLSS will give you huge FPS if you choose to use this option. Note that the higher you go, the more FPS you'll get, but the more blurry the game will become, or at least after a certain point. 
Basically, having DLSS on will render the game at a smaller resolution and then use AI to upscale it and sharpen it and try and make it look like the original image or better. The more intense this effect is, the smaller the game window is rendered and the more it's blown up. Of course, having this too off will give you the best experience unless you have it on a very low effect. That is, of course, only if your graphics card supports this feature. Then at the very bottom, we have temporal upscaling. This should be set to 100 if you want visibility to be high. You can, of course, drop this, but the lower that you drop this, the more blurry your game will become. So having it at 100 is the best. Then hit spacebar when you're done, and you can check the image tab to adjust for your monitor, but these are all based on you and personal preference brightness, gamma, contrast, and sharpness. All of these here have basically no effect on performance, and they can completely change the gameplay experience depending on how you set them. And we're done. That's about it for the setup. Hopefully you're getting way more FPS now than before, and you understand more of what the options actually mean. You can go ahead and play the game as you expect and enjoy it. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.